It's not what you don't know that gets in the way of your success. It's what you do know that isn't true that gets in the way of you manifesting and living a life of your dreams. What we think we know is really just someone else's opinion about the subject matter. I.e., right now, I'm in Africa. And for the longest time, all I saw was commercials with babies with flies on their face and scenes of war and things of that nature. And as of recently, the, the Ebola scare, right? So when it came time for me to come here, everybody, including myself, based on their opinions, started getting a little afraid. Now that I'm here, I am experiencing what I would deem the most welcoming, beautiful people I have ever experienced in my life. But you see, for at least 10 years, I've had the dream of coming to Africa. And what's gotten in my way is what I knew about Africa, what I knew about India. Now, I want you to apply this to your own life. Right now, you know too much about that dream of yours that you want to accomplish. You know that you have to go and take these steps and you got to get a PhD and you got to da 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 and you have this whole list of things that you know. And what you know is getting in your way. The people who succeed, the people who break barriers, the people who create stuff, like the airplane, like the cell phone. These are the people who are so naive. They're so naive, they're so willing to dream and get out of their own way, because this is what it's really about. Everything in your way has to do with you and no other circumstance. You're in your own way. You know too much. So today, start to cultivate. Cultivate a consciousness of naivete. Cultivate a consciousness of freedom and curiosity. Start to get curious about life and let go of all of your, your shoulds and coulds and would'ves and step into the magic of the unknown. Because there's a curious kid in all of us. There's somebody who will dare to be different. There's somebody who will dare to go to what we call the end of the earth only to find out that there is no end. There's somebody who will dare to run the four minute mile when they say your heart will explode if you do. Thank you, Roger Bannister, for that. There's somebody who will dare. Now, my, ask, my question to you is what will you dare to do today? Guys, thank you so much for taking this journey with me here in Africa, one of the most beautiful places I have ever experienced. I'll see you soon. If you're new to the family, go ahead and click like, subscribe if you're on Facebook, tag a friend, tag a loved one, share this message. And if, you're, if you really want to dig deep, Go to PrestonSmiles.com or go to TheBridgeMethod.org where I have a personal development program with my fiance that is amazing. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon from Africa. Boom! No matter how obscure, no matter how weird, no matter how ridiculous you think this thing is, that's the thing that will make room for you.